Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video because a lot of people ask about what you should be doing for the Tailed Beast or whatever on your ninja village. Um, basically everybody has it figured out and most of the village, when you join a village, they'll lay down like a set of rules of how you should be attacking, what days or what, how you're gonna, what beast you're going to do on what days and so on and so forth. And every village has a different rule, like some villages will like, like to do three and they'll do like two during the day and then one later on at night for people that like to get on later and stuff like that, which is actually the cool way of doing it. I like that way that um, this village in Server 33 does. But in my village, um, unfortunately, we only do two a day max and then sometimes uh, every every other every other couple of days or whatever it's the seven tails by itself so it kind of sucks but there is three sets of different teams that you should be using um so um today our village is doing two and three tails so we know that it only attacks the middle column um it's either one it's either it only it either attacks both front and back or just the front one um but it only attacks in the middle the middle column or is that a row i don't know i don't really fucking know so, as you see, this is a team you should be using. You should be using one healer in the middle, preferably an Eno. It doesn't really matter. This Eno um, is set there for a reason because I have master accuracy on her. And then that way she doesn't miss because, of course, none of these guys have any runes on them except for Eno. She has a couple of uh, armor runes and stuff like that. Her equipment is nowhere near, like you know, anything. It's just, you know, enough to put some runes on her and get some HP and tankiness on her just so she's able to survive. Um, because she's the one that's doing all the tanking for you, right? Um, and then the friend slot right here, you should preferably have someone with an Eno in your, as their leader, in your, as their leader in your friends list or something like that. So that way when you go to attack it, you can use two Enos. And so I'll show you real quick. Um, yeah, see, so this is how you should be having it, right? You have one in the front, one in the back, and, you know, in the middle, in the middle row column or whatever it is. Um, that's how you should be attacking the two and three tails. Then that'll get you, and with this setup right here, you should be doing, like, no more than 300,000. Um, the only reason I'm doing so much is because th this person's, you know, like, if for some reason everybody likes that doesn't take off the goddamn sender, you should be taking off the sender runes. Like, you shouldn't have any sender on them just because you want to do the least amount of damage possible and every turn so that way everybody can share so if you do it right and i've been doing it for like the last hour or whatever since we started it so as you see unfortunately there's people that take advantage and you can out of you like I, I can obviously tell like these people up on top like eight million five million five million there's they should not be doing that four million they should be down here where i am two million like that's it like they shouldn't be doing that much that just means they're using you know they're just, I mean, I, I guess I can kind of like if, you know, if you're getting like 5 million, I guess I can see that because you're using two Enos with full Sunder Rune, so she's doing like 25, and if also if you don't take off, you need to take off the critical strike too. If you don't take out crit and you don't take out Sunder, um, you, you're doing too much damage. And then the other thing that people don't seem to understand is why you change your Tail Beast. I have a level 1 Tail Beast, but I do, I have dumped... You know, like my my two daily my two daily rolls on um, the battle cry. Every day I dump it on this one, so that way it goes up. So I have HP, defense, and accuracy. The HP shouldn't be there; should be another defense or armor or something, or even durability. But you do need the accuracy on there, so that way the other little minions don't. Uh, that way none of your minions ever like miss or anything like that. You hate you know you don't want to miss. Um, and that's why, because this one this one does significantly less damage than your nine cells. Your nine cells, when it's fully maxed, you're gonna have it's gonna do a shit ton of damage. It's gonna do like sixteen thousand on crits or something like that. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to get you don't want to get that extra damage. It does give you you know you no matter what damage you do to it, it gives you the same amount of points. It goes by how many number of times it's hit, not by how much damage you're doing. Um, so that way, when you go into it. Um, this setup will get you at least 24 rounds. So let's go ahead and go into one. And you'll see what I mean by like the damage and the difference that the Eno is doing. So like, let me slow it down to times two. See if I can. So let's go to times two. You see mine did 10 and his is doing 22 because he has Sender on there. And also he has his like, um, the, the actives, you know, max or whatever. But even a max active on an Eno should be only be doing 15,000 without any Sender runes or crit. So... Yeah, that's just how that's that's just the math. Like I, I can show you later if I should put one of my Enos that doesn't have any runes or um, Sunder on it, and it does have level ten maxed everything, you know, heal and uh, it's uh, active or whatever. So that this is this is what you should be doing, you know. And let's see if we can speed it up. Uh, 
Now, for the four and five tails, it's basically the same thing. You're going to do the same setup with the Eno in the middle, and then you're going to have a friend Eno in the middle bottom or front or whatever you want to do, and which, whichever way you do it. But you're going to have the two Enos right here in this column, you know, both just like this. And then on the side, um, you're going to do two tanks up either on top like or on the bottom, and you're just going to keep switching them out. So for the four and five tails, um, I have um, I have like a strategy that I got from somebody in server. I forget exactly what server it is, but it's like the same server that Billy's on. Um, they gave me the idea to get Choza or whatever, which is Choji's dad. Choji's dad does like no damage at all. Like it basically does like a level one. <coughs> it does like a level one. Maybe like blue card attacking ninja, some um, attack or something. Like right now, I think I think he's doing like five hundred to like seven hundred um, damage at level seventy. He doesn't do that much. He's just a tank. Like he's all meat on top of that. So like it actually, it's actually perfect. Like because they only have like fifteen thousand or something. But you see, like you should. I'm only doing um two hundred eighty two thousand, and the two hundred eighty two is only because of that. You know, because I mean, I sh normally I can get I can get away with. Sometimes I can get it low enough to where I'm only doing like 150,000 damage or something like that if I have like somebody's Eno, like that right Eno. Um, and then for the four and five tails, this is what I do. I change up two of them all the way to the bottom and I put in these two. Right? So for the five tails, which attacks the top, the top row, then I put them on the top. Now these two, even, you know, they have 17,000 each, and then I work on their equipment to get it to the max health and some, you know, the, the um, defense. But I do add runes into them, so I do have, like, some spare runes on them. Just, I mean, just durability and armor. That's all I want on both of them. Durability and armor. Because um, that's going to make sure that they don't... Because if, if they get crit, like, they die, which is unfortunate, and the armor helps them kind of not to die, like, it lessens the damage, so that way they can tank. Those are the only two runes you need on them, or four runes total, two of each. That's kind of what I do. And I do not level up the uh, the the damage uh, portion of their equipment. I don't I don't level that one up, so that way they don't... they don't. You want, like I said, you want to do the least damage possible, but they both are level 70. Now, it takes a while to get these cards because you can only get them in the marketplace, unfortunately. And it kind of sucks. Actually, it really sucks. And then the last one is the Seven Tails. Everybody um, everybody has a different way of doing it. Sorry, I keep those in. And then I have a uh, Yamato. So this is level 100 and then another Choza. Same rules go. Um, on Yamato, I've upped his HP or whatever, like a little bit as much as I can, but he does do too much damage. Ideally, I'm trying to get another Choza, and then I will have four Chozas and an Eno to be able to do. Now, on the Seven Tails, it doesn't matter which way you put him because it um it it, it attacks randomly, as everybody knows, and so it kind of sucks. You can't really like you can't have a certain formation. The only thing that matters is that your first Eno is in either one slot in slot one or slot two. And then the other Eno just can, can be in slot three, slot five, slot six. It doesn't matter what slot it's in, as long as it's past as long as it's less, at least at slot three, that's all that matters because that's that's where um the attack point, like the, the attack reset point is. So you you're trying to block two attacks, so you're blocking him for two turns and that's the whole point. That's the reason why you're able to get to, you know, round twenty four and then hopefully you get a miss um, you get, you get a, uh, stun in on level, what is it, round 24. Um, and that's about it. That's all I have for, to say about that. Um, everybody knows about the, uh, normally, I want to say everybody already knows about how to set up your guys or whatever for the tail beast and whatnot, which that's not really the thing. It's just about, make sure that you're not, like, using attacking ninjas. Don't use, like, level one attack ninjas, because then you're just taking, using them more damage, and then nobody gets, like, to do the you know the full amount of time because everybody's doing too much damage as you can see like these are already dead so like what's the point you know sorry don't waste any gold or whatever i'm just you know let it play like between two two beasts you know you should be able it, it kind of times out to where like when you come out of one a couple seconds later the other one is ready and whatnot like that so yeah so i wouldn't uh that's better uh, sorry that's all that there is to know about it really but I want to say, like, the most important thing is um, if you can, try to use a level 1 
um, tail beast just for that the fact that you don't want to you don't want to do too much damage and then don't cheat don't you know start using your full team just because you want to get to be ranked you know one or two or you know something just right above you because you think you're going to get more reputation or something like no it doesn't doesn't work like that you're only getting a couple more like a little bit more essence and in reality like it's stupid because if you're ranked you know if you're ranked number three or four you're still going to get like 600 compared to the person that was ranked one that gets you know so what is it 700 or 750 or something reputation so in reality that little bit of bit you know that little bit doesn't make a difference but just don't be the person that's doing like too much goddamn damage like way too early because then you're you're basically stealing from everybody else and you can tell and there's a lot of people that are kind of like hypocritical to, hypocritical about it or whatever which in reality it doesn't matter but then there's the other people that get like super pissed off because they're like why are you doing too much damage like somebody's got to be cheating blah 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 because it's dying too early you know that's why so you kind of want to just have a little bit of integrity with it but that's all i have to say about the tail beast and uh well see you in the next one